Liz and Revy, today's developments would apparently bring to an end what has essentially been a 13-year saga with all three men who were initially charged in the 2011 murder of Officer Clifton Lewis now freed. But there's still a family, a grieving family out there seeking justice and questions about whether Villa could even be reindicted. And then there's the Cook County State's Attorney's Office that today apparently admitted to committing and quote, procedural errors as they prosecuted these cases. Cheers broke out in the lobby of the Layton Cook County Criminal Courthouse this afternoon as Alexander Villa's friends and family celebrated. Nearly 11 years after Villa was first incarcerated, charged, and later found guilty of the murder of off-duty police officer Clifton Lewis, he will soon be a free man. There's two victims in this situation. You have a person who was wrongfully incarcerated for something he didn't do, and you have a, a family that's suffering the loss of, of their loved one. No one wins. Officer Clifton Lewis was shot and killed December 29, 2011, during an armed robbery at a Westside convenience store where he was working a second job as a security guard in order to save up for his impending wedding. Villa, Edgardo Colon, and Tyrone Clay were all arrested within a week, but their cases were plagued with irregularities from the beginning. Defense attorneys accusing police and prosecutors of coercing confessions, making up evidence, and ignoring this FBI-generated cell phone tower map that Villa's attorney showed after court today. This is where the crime happened. The men are mapped everywhere, but where the crime happened, they weren't together the entire day. But while charges were dropped against both Edgardo Colon and Tyrone Clay in June of last year, Villa not only remained incarcerated, he was sentenced just months later to life in prison. That sentence was vacated today as a result of what prosecutors said in court was potentially exculpatory evidence found post-sentencing. Attorneys representing the family of Clifton Lewis denounced that decision. If in fact he is innocent, okay, or his trial was somehow done in a manner which was unfair, then let's have a new trial, okay, let's do it. But instead, we're just going to let him walk out of the courthouse. The question now is whether Villa can be reindicted. The winner of the state's attorney's race, which we expect to be Judge O'Neill Burke, absolutely has to pledge publicly that she is going to reindict and retry this case as soon as she is in office. If not, she will not have the FOP support. Now, the state's attorney's office today would not comment on what this potentially exculpatory evidence was, but in a statement that was issued today, they did say that prosecutors fell short in their efforts to, quote, not only find justice for the harmed, but also to uphold the constitutional rights of the accused. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.